Hi, I'm Darshan Shah. I'm from Lake Mary, Florida. So it was my sophomore year at the University of Florida. Uh, I was new to coming out, just kind of came out to my closest group of friends. And we were on our way to my first gay bar. I went with a few other queer people that I had met on campus. Um, they, it was probably maybe our third time hanging out together. And uh, we went to the only gay bar in, I think, a hundred mile radius. It's called the University Club. It's kind of a weird bar. You enter from the back. Seems appropriate for a gay bar, maybe. You go up the stairs and you're greeted at the door by, by a lesbian who's just like, it's $5. I walked in the door and there was this like moment of feeling like, I am not alone, but there's a whole community of other queer people like me, right? I, I saw two, again, two gay men making out super open, super comfortably. Um, I saw just the, the kind of uh, interaction between people as they try to get to know each other, maybe they're ordering drinks and having that moment of like excitement that, that I wasn't alone that there was a sense of community, that there were people out there like me, having a good time, the music's great, I'm on the dance floor, loving it. And as the night kind of progresses in what I now know is traditional gay bar fashion, shirts start coming up. Suddenly the dance floor was a, a endless sea of just white gay men with little hair, almost no body hair, um, and then there's me, right? Like brown skin and body hair. The friends that I had come with, one of them clearly had shaved his chest, right? And it, it just made me start to think like, should I be doing that? Should I be shaving my chest hair? Is this, is this what I'm supposed to do because I'm gay? There was just an added layer in that moment of realizing like, I'm the only Indian person in this space. I'm the only person who um, has this, this level of body hair, who comes from an Indian background, and just not suddenly feeling super removed from that community, right? Suddenly the music that was like really great to dance to felt not mine and just, uh, you know, something to bob along with. I left pretty quickly after that. It was like, I, this isn't my space anymore. Fast forward five years of trying different gay bars, making different communities of friends. I moved to Chicago for grad school and I was uh, invited by someone on Grindr to this queer Bollywood party. I uh, didn't know anyone going, but I was like, I'm going to go. Like, I just have to show up. It doesn't matter. Got to this little bar that uh, was out, kind of outside of the Boys Town area and walked through the door. It was greeted at the door by a drag queen who had her chest hair out she was wearing a bindi and a sari that was like mostly well pleated <laughs> and she shoved a samosa in my face and was like eat up you're too skinny <laughs> suddenly there was something that was so familiar to my culture something that every skinny indian kid knows uh, the the auntie that's like honey you need to eat a little more there was music playing from like songs that i i had listened to growing up at home Things like Dum Mara Dum that are just like so iconically Bollywood, just feeling that sense of like, wow, there's like, this is my community, right? Like suddenly it's a community of queer, basic people that listen to the kind of music I do, eat the kind of food I do. Once again, you find me on the dance floor, the place that I'm super happy and it's just jamming out to the Bollywood music. As I talked to all of these queer, basic people, uh, I realized that they were all born in India. One of them subtly hinted at, well, but you were born here, you're American. Like, this isn't, this isn't your culture either, right? This is a version of Indian culture, but you're, you're, you're American. There was also this like sense of like, have I gone too far? Am I too gay, right? Everyone was still a little reserved. There was this feeling of like, is, am I being too femme? Am I being too expressive with uh, my style of dance, right? It was uh, just a sense of like, why, why in this space that's supposed to be queer and Bollywood, do I have to not be queer and Bollywood? It was like weirdly the same experience that I had in Gainesville of like 
feeling like I'd found a community, feeling like I was engaged, and then suddenly feeling removed from that community very quickly. And I didn't know what to do with that, right? I didn't know how to process that feeling of, is this, do I belong here? Do I belong anywhere? Do I have to be like born in India and they see, or do I have to be a white hairless twink? Like, how do I find my, my little part of this, this rainbow of a community, right? So now, like, however many years later, after having these two starkly different, but kind of the same experiences, right? Of feeling like I found a community and then realizing it wasn't perfectly aligned with who I am. There's, I feel like I now go to queer things, to basey things, to queer desi things, and just feel like, why, why do I try to make everything fit perfectly to who I am, right? And it, it doesn't have to, right? If, if my personality is multifaceted, why can't my experiences be multifaceted? Why can't I find that thing that, I, that connects me with this particular piece of a community and just celebrate that? There are other queer, basic people that have been brought up in the US but they, even their experiences won't be the same as mine. So if, if someone wants to come and dance Bollywood and they're full fledged, all the, all the femme, all the color, all the movement, like they should feel loved and welcome and accepted. And I'll probably be right there with them dancing. <laughs> Today I go out and volunteer and try to create events that are queer and they see or and that, and that might be a Bollywood party, that might be a potluck dinner, that might be just a conversation with someone, but making sure that there's that moment of you're not alone. And I may not be able to relate to every part of you, but I relate to you somehow. 